El Paso City Council members are looking to clear any confusion and determine who should get cited when a business violates the county shutdown order. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela explains. During Monday's special meeting, the Deputy City Manager of Public Safety says that the COVID Mitigation Task Force has made 583 visits, issued 24 citations and 66 warrants since Friday when the shutdown order was officially ruled valid. The question as to who should get the citation, getting some clarity. So if the owner happened to be there, or let's say it's a system manager, but the manager's there, you're going to the, the person that is actually in control of the establishment uh, at that time, that the officer observes the offense happening in their presence at that time. Assistant Chief Peter Pacias with the El Paso Police Department says law enforcement cannot cite the business when violating the current shutdown order, but rather the person in charge when officers are present. Whether it's traffic code, penal code, or any of the other orders or laws that are there, it's the person that is, is actively violating it. I feel like that's maybe not appropriate considering, you know, we have business owners who are openly uh, refusing to follow the orders and suing the county, um, and they're the ones directing their staff to show up. City Attorney Carla Neiman says traditionally, law enforcement cites whomever is in charge of the business when the officers arrive to the facility. The issuance of citations of biz to businesses is not um, unique to this order. They are often our code enforcement officers and our law enforcement officers are required to issue citations for other violations and they are traditionally issued to the person who is um, managing the store at the time or the shift manager or whoever represents the owner. The citation is not an admission of guilt. It just says that uh, they're going to be responsible whether they're going to show up to court to argue their case or they're going to pay the, the fine. And City Rep. Anello says that she's going to continue working on having these discussions with the city attorney as far as who should get cited at these businesses so long as the shutdown order stands. Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News.